Hello everyone, it's Gil from 42% Noir. I'd like to show you today something we've been working on since we started preparing for our performance. It's called Easy Controller and it's an easier way to control your MIDI controller in Max. So in order to begin, we will just need to copy our files um, to library uh, in Max. So it is in documents, Max 7 and library. We'll just paste them here replace the files I already have and and the next thing we'll need to do is just to drag our easy controller somewhere else and we can bring it back here um, that's in order to enable our app um, to store our mapping um, so we won't need to map it each time again and again um, you just need to do it uh, once so so we can, yeah, so we can just begin. So the first thing uh, we we'll need to do is to select our controller. I'll um, choose this one. And and you will see that when I'm uh, moving my controller, nothing is happening. But but you can see that my, uh, that easy controller um, is recognizing my controller here. Um, each each number is a is the index number of what I'm changing here. It's nothing you need to you need to remember, but it just tells us that um, we get the signal from the mini controller. In order to to map, um, we need to click on map MIDI. So I would just need to um, move a bit anything in my in my MIDI controller. So it will recognize it here, and hit on the title of the um, knob I would like to assign to, and and you can see that it's um, that it's mapped. So I will move a bit uh, this one. You can see the number is changing here, and hit uh, S two, and move this one here again. See, um, and this one, and so on. I will do it quickly. Uh, yeah. Also, you can um, you can see that we have pads, so I will do the same thing. Yeah, I can see how it works. Um, yeah, <laughs> um, we have also um, a B set, so I will just move it a bit uh, and work the same the same way. Sometimes you need to wake it up. Yeah. Um, the same thing with the pads again. Yeah, and with sliders as well. You just move a bit and set it. So now when it's all set, I can I can turn off our uh, map mode, and and we can go to Max and see how we can communicate between them. So I'll open a new patch, and and I will create an object called uh, Reap Ascon. So you can notice that the controller is saying that it's connected. Um, it's it says that it basically connected to to Max. So if you have more than one patch open, um, you just need to have uh, one Reap Escon. That's enough. Um, so in order to get uh, values from our keyboard, we need to uh, add a new object and write Escon and S1, for example. That's have a message and you can see yeah we're getting our variables um, the same thing will go for s4 for example and s um, 8 yeah um, s0 will be our um, sliders you can see the names here but that will be uh, this slider. Also, if we'd like to refer to the B section, uh, we'll just need to add 
b in the end and we'll get this uh, number for pets um, we'll use scon and letter p let's say p2 and let's say I have a toggle and p2 the same is go uh, it's going for uh, p2 b yeah um, in order to keep everything uh, neat and organized we can name our uh, our knobs so I will just add for example peach so that will be called peach and let's say s4 will be um, note it will be note um, also another interesting um, thing is that we can scale our numbers so let's say I would like to have the range um, numbers of um, 12 to 53 and now I'll, when I will move S4 um, you will see that I'm getting um, the numbers in this range also you can see that I'm con with just one knob I can control and have two two numbers um, in the same time um, that can be helpful in um, in several cases um, also you can um, you can have presets so by let's set for example this uh, this set as a preset and let's move it a bit so we will see the difference and by creating scon and preset we can send a message to it and it will change so that that tells us that um, our our communication is is both ways so it's it coming uh, from here to the controller and and the other way around in addition to control your numbers from the MIDI controller, you can use an easy controller as well. Um, so, for example, I will move S1, and you will see that it's going from here too. Um, also, if I will connect to our scale another number, it will be um, scaled here and it will send to all other S4s and to um, its controller so that can be helpful as well um, all the all the other stuff um, and stuff I said now here you can find on in help um, so yeah I think I think that's it um, I hope you will find it useful and would love to hear um, your feedback about it um, and yeah, have fun. Bye-bye.